into the trunk access. Start up here. I've got a set of shades that you pull down and they go to the little suction cup here. Full size spare. The original size, not the tires that are on here, but it's still a full size, exact same rim that's on the Jeep. Uh, here's a thing that I mounted here. It's got all the uh, Jeep accessories in it. The uh, remote control for the winch. You got some toe straps and uh, pins and some gloves and everything you'd need for off-road I have in there. Some shackles, uh, snatch block and all that stuff. Fire extinguisher. The carpet super clean. Here's the remote control for the stereo. If I do a job or I'm just out and about, I usually keep this back open. Well, the front door's open. Turn the lights off, and then I can control the stereo. Works out real good. Real clean. Super clean. Now the one thing I want to point out here, point out a couple things here that bring it to your attention. These Jeeps, usually the vinyl cracks here, and I remedied that. I put a little uh, thing here. I keep a little multi-tool in here. It's just a neoprene zippered case, which I don't think anybody else's Jeep probably has this. I did it, custom did it myself. Super clean. I have got a set of brand new mats that I put in there uh, from a Dodge, but I like the rubber mats anyways. This mounts in here, a little little clip right here, just fits in that hole, no problem. Now I have the, there's no stains, no coffee runs down this carpet. It hasn't had any shampooing like car dealers do. It doesn't stink, car smells really good. I keep an eye touch mounted and tucked right up in here. You can mount it or do whatever you want. There's a little piece of Velcro here that you could stick it to so you can see it. I just keep it out of sight, out of mind. In today's world, <clears throat> people want stuff for nothing, so they'll steal it if they have to. I just keep it tucked right up under there. You don't see it. All right, snorkel. Now I do is I loosen this up and I'll turn the snorkel around in the winter time. I seem to get pretty good fuel mileage with this. It, it seems to help. And if it's driving rain, I'll just loosen this up and twist it around. This truck has uh, air conditioning, works good. Cruise control, tilt wheel. This is a loaded Jeep. A lot of these dealers try to say they're loaded and they don't even have their cruise control. Here's the winch cover for the winch. Get into the engine. And I built the engine last year. Let me set this down. Here's the engine. Got a brand new battery. I don't know if you can see that. That's a uh, 900 cold cranking amp battery. I, I went with the bigger battery. New compressor. Uh, lots of new parts in this. I've got a. I totally rebuilt the engine uh, with new pistons. Um, everything in it, I've had the uh, block out to the machine shop, and it was honed out and checked, and I had the uh, pistons and rods all sized and put back together. I've got a uh, mild RV cam, 
It's a uh, melling, new lifters. So new cam lifters, timing chain, all new gaskets. The valves had the head done. Uh, pretty much everything on this engine has been gone through. Lots of new parts. Um, new fan clutch. I just changed the belt. I had a horrible gator back belt on here when I rebuilt it last year and when I turned the air conditioner on it would squeal and I believe AutoZone stopped carrying the gator back belts good year because they had that squealing problem so I went with a 30-35 Deco belt. Pretty pleased with it. Got a high flow thermostat. Um, everything's practically brand new. I, I probably don't even have 7,000 miles on this engine. I've got everything sealed real good. I do have a K&N air filter. The snorkel attaches here and comes around this tube and goes through the hole here. Um, all aluminum radiator. You can obviously tell that this is all, all aluminum, all welded. See, all the light, lighting and everything on this Jeep is run through relays, so I've got a, a set of relays here, here, and down here. And this is for uh, some of the other stuff with the fuse. Everything's in wire looms that run through. All this stuff I've done in wire looms, so everything's done professional. There's no junk wiring laying around. I only use... Uh, Valvoline oil, and I only use the uh, Wix filters that I get at Napa. Uh, I use that on everything. Hoses, the upper and lower radiator hose was new. Like I said the fan clutch is new. I, I picked through everything and, and changed everything new. This was a good year for Jeep. Mercedes had a lot of influence in this, uh, you know, with the uh, Bosch, lots of Bosch equipment in here. All the way around, pleased with this Jeep. I really hate selling it, but I guess I have another project in mind. There it is. She's a she's a good looker, a good runner. She cruises nice down the highway. Aggressive off road, if you want it. I baby it. it it's become my my baby, so. I'm not hard on it. A couple little blemishes um, with the paint, but that's kind of normal with the age. It's not all scratched up or anything. The paint's shiny. It waxes good. There's one little spot here where a ladder had fallen on it, but it's just got a minor dent and a scratch. A little bit of touch-up paint, but that's no big deal. Like I said, the roof rack is properly attached. You know, no rust on the roof. You know, she's a uh, all the way around. Good truck. The majority of the work I did last year, and then I've done a few things this year, but when I try to do things, I do it right the first time and don't, don't want to have to go back, so. I think the latest addition of things that I did was Go through and hook up the uh, the towing package. I've always had a trans cooler in this, but um, I put a new one in, and I wired in the uh, trailer setup. I hope this helps instead of just just photographs. I get a lot of laughs when I open my hood. I got the uh, terrorist permit. 
It does have the fold away mirrors. The mirrors fold in, which is nice if you got a tight spot. I said the factory tinted windows are just fabulous. Oh, better yet, maybe I'll start it. Let you hear out sounds. The keys are in it. Good sounding engine. No knocks or pings, no chatters or clatters. Doesn't miss a lick. I built quite a bit of these engines, so I did a good job. Uh, the, the pistons are sealed power, and I used a set of Hastings rings. They're hyper eutetic pistons. Um, did a good job with it, you know. I could have just, it would have been cheaper for me to go to O'Reilly's and buy one of their remanufactured engines with a big warranty would have been cheaper than it cost me to rebuild it myself. So it's food for thought if anybody's just looking at the video, getting ideas for their Jeep. Um, I've got almost $2,000 tied up in it and that's no labor, that's just my parts, machine shop costs you know, paint, you know, a few nuts and bolts here or there, things that I did, uh, cam and, you know, gaskets and all that stuff. When you start buying all that stuff, it adds up. So, you know, really you can't beat those remanufacturer shops, but then you get a warranty, but you can get a bad engine and you, it, you know, when I build it, I'd take it anywhere on this planet and I feel comfortable with it. Somebody else rebuilds it for me. I, I have that sense of insecurity. Is it gonna hold up? So that's where I'm at with that. He sounds good out of the exhaust. I don't know if you can hear that. That sounds even better out of the tube. So, anyways, thanks for watching the video. And if you're interested, give me a call. My telephone number is 731. 614-3106. My email is sailor, S-A-I-L-O-R, 2072 at yahoo.com. Thanks.